introduction to Ghetto Normal Map. My name is Josh Burns. So what is Ghetto Normal Map? Well, it's a pseudo effect that I created to make normal maps in After Effects CS6. When I did my lighting and texture tutorial, I was using Smart Normal Map, which is actually supported by CS5 and 5.5, but not in CS6. So I looked online to try and find one that uh, would work. Uh, I couldn't find anything for free, so I decided to try and make it myself. And uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to get it working. So uh, I've had it on the Video Copilot uh, forum for a few days here, and I haven't heard any complaints. So uh, I'm putting up a video here to introduce it to you guys and uh, give you a free download. So it's not as easy as just dropping this uh, pseudo effect onto your layer. There are a few more steps, so that's what I'm going to be going through today, as well as I'll show you some of the benefits and features of this effect. I have just a basic fractal noise layer with the evolution animated. Okay, so first thing you want to do is pre-compose the layer and move all attributes. And then once you've installed Ghetto Normal Map, you can find it here in the effects and presets search bar. Just type in Ghetto Normal Map. It'll also show up in your presets, I believe. Okay, there it is. And you can see it's just a ton, like it's a stack of effects to create this. So I've relabeled them all do not alter because you don't need to change any of them. You just go to the very bottom and there's three options there under Ghetto Normal Map. So you can see here, there is an amount, soften, and then also add a solid below this. You can see the normal map doesn't quite look right. Well, when you add this purpley type color and bring it to the bottom, you have your normal map. It's as easy as that. So now you've created a normal map from the fractal noise. And the great thing is it's animated. Like I said before, you don't need to alter any of these effects. You just leave them alone, but you do have a couple that you want to play with, and that's amount and soften. And amount does exactly what it sounds like. You adjust the amount of bump as well as soften is just a blur effect added to it and that just softens up the normal map a little bit okay so let's see how it looks uh, on a uh, element layer so bring it into the scene add it to the custom textures and go into the scene setup and add it as you would any other normal map but the great thing is not only have you not had to leave after effects to create this it's also animated so that's a bonus so that was the main feature from smart normal map that i wanted uh it, NVIDIA has a uh, normal map plugin for Photoshop. It doesn't give you the option to animate, so that's what I really want, as well as just to be able to create without having to leave After Effects. So I'll just do another example here real quick. Just a, this is a asphalt picture that I got online. Same exact process. Pre-compose a layer, add the effect, and then add a solid to the bottom of stack. There you go. And then with this, the nice thing is you can use your texture map, like your diffuse map, and uh, just apply the effect, and then you get this. I mean, it's not gonna work with every uh, texture map, but in this case, it works because it's sort of the rock texture is, is the highs and lows that you want. So I just apply that to the element layer. So now I've added the diffuse map as well as the normal map and all without having to leave After Effects aside from bringing in the image. So that's a great way to expedite your workflow. And there it is. So three main benefits of Ghetto Normal Map is it works in After Effects CS6. You can make your own animated maps or bring an image sequence in and you can make adjustments on the fly without having to leave After Effects, so it really expedites your workflow. So there it is, get a normal map. Uh, link in the description if you want to download it. There's full instructions on how to install it. It's a bit more involved than just uh, installing any other effect. Um, there's a bit of uh, code that you have to add in, but it's all very clear in the instructions. So there you have it, Ghetto Normal Map, a free way to create normal maps in After Effects CS6 without any external plugins. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or send me a message. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And thanks to those who add my videos to their favorites and share them however you do. And if you want to see more, visit my channel and consider subscribing. My name is Josh Burns, and I'll talk to you next time.